Hi guys, welcome to our SLGIS Assistant YouTube channel. Today, I am going to explain about georeferencing a satellite image using Google Earth. Previously, I explained about how to georeference a scan image into non-coordinate system. Today, I am going to show you how to capture a satellite image using Google Earth and how to georeference it to non-coordinate system. Okay, now I am going to create my own map to a specific area. First, I have searched my desired area in Google Earth. Then, all the layers should be turned off. And zoom the image properly into your desired area. Then, create a new folder in temporary places. Right click on temporary places and add, click on folder, type a name for this folder, then click OK. Now we are going to add some places to georeference this image. It is very important that the selected points should be well spread on the image. So I will choose four corners of this image, click on add place mark. Then drag this point, then click OK, again click on add place mark, then place in another place, then click OK. I am going to select the third place also, then click OK. And this is the final place mark and click OK. Now the inserted points are saved in my folder. This should be saved as KML file for further processing of this image. So right click on folder, then save my place as. I'm going to save the KML file as point, then click save. Then I'm going to save this image by clicking this tab. Under map options, it is better to turn off all the elements and under resolution, I am going to choose maximum resolution, then click save image and you can browse the location and file name, then click save. After saving this image, Open ArcMap window and change coordinate system and units of this ArcMap by right click on layers or properties. Under general tab, I am going to change the map units as meters and the display units also meters. And under coordinate system tab, I am going to change the coordinates as SLD99 because this is the coordinate system for this area. Then click apply OK. Now click on search tab in here type as KML to layer then double click on KML to layer and browse the input KML as our saved KML You can change the output location from here. Then you can change the output name. Now the KML has added as a layer file. Now we should project this file to non-coordinate system. To do that, type project on this search tab and double click this project data management tool. And browse the feature class as 
points then you can change the output location and output coordinate system then click ok now click ok now the four points have projected and we should pick the x and y coordinates for this point to do that first i'm going to remove the layer then right click on the point layer then open attribute table i'm going to add two field as x and y click on add field name should be x and the type should be double then click ok and i'm going to add another field as y then click ok now right click on x column then click on calculate geometry and the property should be x coordinate of point and the units should be meters then click ok then right click on y column then click on calculate geometry property should be y coordinate of this point and the units should be meters then click ok now the actual coordinates of these points have calculated we can export this data into a report by clicking report then click on create report and choose the available field click x and y then finish the report you can click on export report to file I am going to export this as XLS format and the file name then click on save then click ok now I am going to close the report viewer and the table of content This is the Excel file that I have export the coordinates. Then add the saved Google image to ArcMap by click on add data, then browse the location. Then right click on this image and zoom to layer. Now I am going to georeference this image using our calculated coordinates. First uh, we need georeference in toolbar. Right click on toolbar then tick on georeference in and the georeference in tab is added to this window and the georeference image also added to this toolbar. And now I am going to georeference this image. Click on add control point, then zoom the location and place the control point and right click, then click on input x and, um, x and y. Now you can copy and paste the coordinates from this excel. then click ok and again click on zoom to layer then you can put the second coordinates of the second point click on add control point input x and y
now I have added four control points and assign x and y values for these points properly. After adding four control points, you can click on view link table and see the RMS error of added points. For a better georeferenced image, very low amount of total RMS error number is helped. You can see the RMS error is 0 0.136 and this is a good georeferenced image. Then close the link table and click on georeferencing and click on rectify and you can browse the output location from here then click add and you can change the name of this georeference image and the format I am going to export this image as diff image then click save now the rectified image has saved separately we can add the rectified image into this map click on add data then browse the location I'm going to remove the previous points and image okay, this is the rectified image we can add a sample data for, for checking about the georeference quality I'm going to add the transport layer of this location You can see the image has georeference correctly according to the transport layer. Now you will be able to see the image has georeference correctly by comparing this data. Then you can create or edit geographical data by using this type of TIFF image by putting as background data. Hope to explain about creating and editing data in my next videos. Leave a comment if there was any problems regarding this video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and share us.